Okay, so uh, coming soon on Curse Voice. It's in alpha right now, so if you have access to that, you've already got this. Um, it will be coming to the beta soon, and at that point, people are going to want to know how to use it. So if it's the new export feature. Um, previously, we were all using Tamper Monkey and scripts, and it's a bit of a bother, but, you know, it got the job done. But next up on the ever-growing list of improvements, we have the ability to directly export a pack. What you would do is you would go into a pack, click a pack that you've made by preference, not you know, somebody else's. So you've got all your mods in the list here. You need to go up here, and you're going to click this little dot, and you're going to pick Export Profile. You may want to pick profile options beforehand and name it. You could let, you know, just change the name slightly. Either or, whatever. Then export profile. And you will see this handy little box pop up. You'll put in your version number. You can do this however you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, I know there's some people who have very specific standards. Do you know, use what you've been using. Now, much more important than the version and the name is this list here. Now, the Ag Skies list is a bit more detailed than many packs are going to have. So you have options. You can include pretty much any of this stuff. A lot of this stuff you don't need to, con to include. You're not going to need backups. The things that are going to be checked by default are config and mods. Now, in the mods section, you'll see that some of these things are grayed out. The ones that are grayed out are the ones that are already on CurseForge. You don't need to worry about those. The other ones, the ones that are kind of a, a bold color, would be ones that aren't on CurseForge. Uh, now in this case, on these, I turn this off because those are going to get downloaded all on their own. They don't... Code Chicken Lib will be downloaded uh, the most... Recent one will be downloaded as soon as Code Chicken Core goes off. And it's much better if you let Code Chicken Core handle that. And don't just include one by hand. You might end up with the wrong version. and You, know, you don't want to do that. So then we've got big reactors. All the rest of these we don't need to worry about. Uh, in Ag Skies, we also need resources. We need the saves. We can go up here. and We're going to close out mods. You need maps. You need custom NPCs for some of the quests. And yes, that, that should do it. Now, let's say, for example, I wanted to pick a specific um, HQM. So in this case, I don't ship the edit mode one. Why? Because sometimes I forget to set it to false. And do I just remove that and let a fresh one generate? Because the only thing that one does is tell whether or not a quest book can be edited. So if there's a config file, or let's say another one that's common is um, NEI integration, which is what shows like or dictionary, internal names, things like that. These are all dev tool configs. You're going to want your users to have regular configs, not pack dev configs. So you might as well just go ahead and turn off, you know, not include any configs that they don't need to have or that they should be getting the default version of as opposed to your dev version. So you can select that in here. You, could, you can choose which configs to include. Um, you can include which folders of these to, to include. In each of these sections, you can pick what you want. Now, you can even pick to include your keybinds and options if you really want to. And your server's file. If, say, you've got a um, server that goes with the pack, you could just click to include servers.dat, and when they load up the pack, they will automatically have the address for your server. That might not be the best option on a public mod pack, though. Really, that might be a bad plan. So anyway, we push OK. And do we wait? 
do 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 yeah then fortunately packaging all this up takes a little bit and we're done now that i'm just gonna put this on the desktop for ease and you'll see it's already given the file name as being uh well the name of the profile and the version number we press save it says hi i some successfully exported. Yay! Press OK. So then, if we were to go here and we were to go to Extract to Folder, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Now we have all of our lovely things. And one of the neat things that this thing does is it gives you this. This is an HTML thingy, majiggy. I'm sure there's a correct term for this. Anyway, what it is, is it's a list of the um, mods in here with links. So you can copy this right into the description of your mod pack. And if all of your mods come off CurseForge, voila, you have a list of where you, which mods are included. And people can click and go to them nice and easy. Very simple. If your manifest which decided to go into my other window, so excuse me. Pull that back over here. Which is going to have your, your version number. It's going to have the Forge version that you're using. Um, the, the, the name of the profile. The version number of it. You're going to have the... And then these are the project ID and file ID of all the mods that are included. Now... Uh, for ease, we'll just we're just gonna go here and we're going to go find false. Well, okay, so I don't have any of this. All right, so if you were to go through one of these and you were to swap it to false, it would be downloaded as disabled by default. We're gonna show you that in a minute. In here, you have your overrides. This is everything that needs to go into the pack that wasn't on CurseForge. This includes mods. For example, Big Reactors is not currently on CurseForge, uh, but it is allowed to be shipped with packs. If you are shipping mods with packs that are not on CurseForge, you will need to have them double-checked, and um, they may or may not be allowed. So make sure you check the list. There's a list here in the, the knowledge base that will tell you what mods have been approved. If they're not on that list, don't include them. The pack won't be approved. Um, here's the maps. This is all the, the, the maps that ship with uh, Ag's guys. Here's the save files, which since I was playing earlier has a backup that I really shouldn't be including. And there's all your config folders. So it's all ready to be loaded up onto CurseForge as a pack. Of course, I don't actually plan to release this because I'm not done with Ag Skies 117 yet. So nobody's getting that just yet. But let's go ahead and go back to a different one. Uh, let's say I wanted to ship this pack. And let's say I wanted a mod in here to be disabled by default. Oh, let's say world state checkpoints. Okay, that works. We go in here. We do the export profile thing again. We've got the version. We have the mods. Everything's in there. Now, in this case, as you can see, everything in here is on CurseForge. So... We're good to go. We want resources because I always ship those for the the fancy main menu thing that I like to do. Just a thing. We're going to press OK. We're going to wait a minute. Dum -da -dum. Hey, it's done already. It's, it's much faster when it doesn't have to compile you know, six maps. And press Save. We go over here and we open her up. And voila, we have our list. Now, if we go in the Overrides section, you see there's no Mods folder. If we go on ahead and we, we open up the manifest.json and we search for False, we find that one of these mods here is marked as False. Now, this number lines up with um, World State 
Check points. World check points. World state points. Eh. When this pack downloads into the launcher, well, into the client, um, it's going to download with that mod is disabled by default. So then your users would need to turn it on. And that's just a simple flip of a switch. On, on, off, on, off, on, off. Not hard. Um, they just go in here. They select profile options. They make sure it says pack unlocked. And then they can turn mods on and off, update mods, whatever they feel they need to do. Uh, at this point, you're all set to go ahead and upload it as a pack. This zip file is what you need. That's it. That's all you need. Well, you also need a logo, and you're going to need a description that's more than my favorite mods. Uh, you're also going to need more than tech mods, magic mods, right? inspired by have a description it's it's not incredibly difficult to do um just this section put something out that tells you what's there some credits maybe a video guide a little description some images if you want to get really fancy the mod list all that good stuff just go ahead and stick that in there make sure you've got a description between those two things, you've got a pack, and you can upload it, and you'll be good to go. If your pack is made of nothing but mods on CurseForge, and you have a logo, and you have a description, all you have to do is upload this, and you don't need to worry about us getting all... Oh my God, you included mods you shouldn't have included and you need to fix this and you need to fix that. No more fiddling with manifests. It's all good. Now, the downside, because there is always a downside. Currently, the Mac client doesn't support this yet. The Mac client doesn't support Minecraft right now, so it, it doesn't support exporting packs. And obviously, Linux doesn't support it either yet, since there is no Linux client yet. So, for Linux and Mac, until the client is ready, you're going to have to go ahead and still use Tamper Monkey. That is why we created it, so that it is there as a stopgap until this stuff is put in place. But, for Windows Pack creators... The export button is working. It's coming soon to beta. For Mac, Linux, and any other operating system people might be using, I don't know, maybe somebody's using a Raspberry Pi. Um, soon, with that little TM thing behind it, you know, ish. It's not there yet. We'll get it there when we can. Um, Mac will definitely be getting it once uh, the client is ready. I don't know when Linux will have access. I don't know. Sorry. But, everybody else, if you're on the alpha, try it out. When it comes to beta, well, then everybody else will get to try it out. If you're a pack creator and you need alpha access, message me on IRC, Jaded Cat, and we'll see if it's possible. It may be, it may not be. No promises.